Residents of Gadi village in Gatondo are living in fear after a leopard killed seven sheep at the weekend. Villagers say the latest attack brings to 15 the number of sheep killed by the animal in two months. The villagers are now calling for the intervention from the Kenya Wildlife Service and further compensation to their lost livelihood. Human-animal conflict is just yet another menace that is promising not to end soon unless the government takes a swift action. Ilikuwa mwendo wa saa tisa na nusu saa usiku. Na akawala haa wakauwa kondo watano. Elsewhere, pineapple thieves from Kabati village in Maragua, Muranga County, today openly confessed that they have been stealing pineapples at the Del Monte Company Limited, but lamented that their accomplices have been beaten mercilessly, maimed and murdered by guards of the juice-making company. Speaking as they searched for the body of 32-year-old Paul Ngei, who is suspected to have been brutally murdered by the guards as they were found stealing pineapple near Blue Post Hotel, the accomplices said they were accosted by armed guards who clobbered them only to leave Paul Ngei at the masses of the security men. Ngei's wife Lois Wanjaga Shoe admits her husband left as usual on Sunday midnight for the job and it didn't occur to her that she was seeing the husband for the last time. She said they reported the matter to Ngatia police station. Ironically, her efforts to recover the body of the supposedly dead husband have not borne fruits. She is now pleading with the government to intervene and help trace the body of the husband. The area leaders who accompanied the residents in search of Ngei condemned the brutal act, regretting that the guards failed to follow the expected procedure after apprehending the thieves. Many suspected pineapple thieves have gone missing in the recent past and it is believed that their dead bodies have been dumped in dams and rivers. Still in Muranga County, a group of Bantus living in Somali now want Somalia divided into two between the black-skinned and the light-skinned after what they say is segregation and being left out in major decision-making in their country. They blame the Kenyan scholars for failing to highlight their plights. Mohamed Gedo Hassan, who is Somali Bantu Liberation Movement interim prime minister, said Somali should be split into two independent countries for the black Somali to have a free land. Speaking at Keno Hotel in Maragua constituency of Muranga County, where over 50 Bantu Somalis asked the national community to abritate the conflict between the black Somali living in the southern and the light-skinned natives, Professor Omar said the Bantus are being fought to be edged from the rich arable sector without the government of Kenya intervening, saying they originated from the country. He said the Kenyan academicians never informed the government about their problems despite their cry to have them live in peaceful environment and coexistence with the light-skinned natives.